Hello and welcome. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to associate Genius Marketing Pro with one of your opt-in pages. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is to create a campaign and then create a campaign and associate it with a form. So let's do that now. We're going to go first to the autoresponder dashboard and once we get there we're going to create an email campaign. When we get there we're going to click the green campaign button and you are going to want to make sure you've got all of the details filled in. Your campaign name, the name of the sender, which is going to be the name that your email, uh, your, your subscribers actually see. The email that uh, the autoresponder is going to associate with, if they send a reply email, it's going to come back to that email. You're going to want to ha give them a confirmation uh, URL and an unsubscribe URL. And those are going to be baked into the code of the actual autoresponder. Now, when you uh, when you write uh, the message, you're going to be uh, kind of writing it from here, and this is the confirm, right? So when they actually confirm that they're going to be part of your list, this is the message you're going to get. So if you want to um, if you want to change this, actually, this is going to be the initial email that they get. So when they come to your page and they decide to opt in, they're going to get this email asking them to confirm their subscription. Right, so and you you don't want to change this a lot. This doesn't need to be any different. You don't need to put a lot of detail in here. This pretty much needs to be boilerplate and straight uh, straight in. Then uh, what you're going to do is you're going to get notification right when they become part of your list, and so you want to have this in here. Now, when you name this, you want to name this. Uh, you want to name this this specifically so that you know which list uh, someone opted into and then you want to have this email to be something where you can actually see it or if you only track it once a day have it going to an email that's going to be categorized right so you don't have to look at every email that becomes part of your leads and then once you do that you're going to click the create campaign button okay once you do that then what you're going to do is you are going to want to activate that campaign you're just going to click that button and then the campaign then is active so now what we need to do is we need to create a form and we create a form inside of GMP and all we're going to do is we're going to go over to this tab and we're going to click create an opt-in form when we do that then it's going to be associated with our new campaign and since we're going to be putting this inside of the of the uh, of the opt-in form or the uh, page that we're creating, we don't really care what kind it is. We can just click any one of these. It can be the one that's already in there. You want to make sure that you know you've got all the fields in there. You're going to have. You want to take the headline out, and you want to take out the social media. And, and really, again, once again, it doesn't really matter because we're not going to be using this for an actual opt-in form. We're going to be using this form so that GMP can capture it from within your opt-in page you're going to create. So now once we do that we're going to click next. You do want to name the form and so we're going to say uh, create a page and then you know give it a name that you're going to remember. Create a page for your new product. And then you're going to click done. And once you do that, you're going to see uh, an ID there. This is your form ID, and that's what you want to pick up. So you want to go ahead and copy that form, and then move on to the next step. And then now we're going to go to create a page. That's going to bring us to this menu at the top. We're going to click create a page. And then depending on what kind of page we're going to create, we're going to go to create opt-in. And we're just going to use one of the pages already in existence so that you can just see how this goes quickly. We're going to click create a page. Okay, you're going to put your, uh, you're going to change your headline up here. Um, all the other information you want to change. Uh, it's going to be rare when you're going to ask for the phone number. So you want to take that out. You take that out by sh that clicking show this text box and then untick it, then click save. When it's red like this, that means that it's not going to show up. Uh, you want to go ahead and write your write what you're going to have in your button as well as the language down there. So now we pretty much have what we need in order to, um, to in order to afford to be a squeeze page or a capture page but now what we need to do is associate it with our GMP autoresponder we're gonna do that by clicking the little guy up there and then we're gonna uh, click select an autoresponder and then we're gonna click the genius marketing pro auto autoresponder we're then going to put in and paste in that code 
right? Now that form code associates it with GMP, right? So it's going to be part of your GMP autoresponder. They're going to be opted into now to that list. And then once they are actually, uh, they've actually confirmed, you want to redirect them to your offer or wherever you want them to be, your blog. In this particular case, I would direct them to the PLR show. Okay, so that's pretty much it. When you click submit, that means then now that this form is going to be um, associated with your GMP autoresponder. So that means you're going to save the page. And click save page. And once you do that, you're going to see a little green button come over here to the left hand side. And then you'll just click that preview button. And you're going to see now, you see that my title is now the PLR show opt-in. And now I've only got the two fields that I need to have. And now everyone that opts into this list is going to be placed inside of my GNP autoresponder. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.